Hey everybody, Ann here. Remember in yesterday's video, I showed you this wonderful thing that I found. It is a chicken of the woods mushroom. I found one in Ohio, but I ended up giving it away to a guy because he said he wanted it really bad for his dad. But I found one on my property on a piece of red oak right across my little stream. I was so excited. So I found that, well, not yesterday, but the day before. I decided to let it grow a little bit bigger, and I'm glad I did because, check this out, it has almost doubled in size. Yesterday when I was pulling some of the weeds away from it, I pulled off a little bracket, so I took it inside and just sauteed it in butter, and it was absolutely delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest this and uh, put it in my little brown bag and cook it up later tonight for dinner. And these over here have also grown considerably. This is the most exciting thing. I never thought I would see one of these mushrooms out here and it's just on this, I think it's red oak. Oh, I about fell down and died when I saw this. Look at that, you guys. A chicken of the chicken of the woods mushroom. I mean, it's a couple brackets here, and I have just kind of cut it off. I'll show you where I cut it off. That's what the underside looks like. I will clean it up some more. A little bug on there I need to get off. And I'll cut away the brown spots. Um, there was some weeds growing up through the middle of it, so when I slice it, I will cut it in order to take those out but just look at this you guys oh my gosh this is going to be delicious i'm going to let these go and see if they get a little bit bigger but i harvested it just in time the the flesh is still spongy it's not like super hard or anything and when i cut it off i left a good bit still on the the tree log so hopefully I will get some more in maybe another year. I don't know. I don't know how much bigger these are going to get. But oh, you guys, I could not be more excited about this. So later today when I'm done doing all my stuff, I'm going to harvest some wild greens. I'm going to saute them up with the, um, I don't know, maybe both of them. I'm not sure that's going to be a lot of food. Uh, probably saute them up, wild greens, butter, garlic, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Serve it over pasta, and it's going to make a tasty meal. Here it is, you guys, all the ingredients. That is the mushroom. Kind of looks like lobster, doesn't it? There's all the wild greens. There's dock. There's wild lettuce. There's plantain, uh, viola leaves, and a few other things. I'm going to chop it all up. And here's the seasonings. Um, the biggest pile on the right is just a bunch of oregano, lemon balm. What else did I put in there? Some thyme. Um, I don't know, a couple other things. I can't even remember. And then these are the garlic chives. I went ahead and cut up, I think, uh, three or four of the cloves. And I got the best tops and the most tender ones and just cut them all up. So I'm going to cook it all up. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cook me some pasta. I want you to look at this thing right here. My mom got this for me while she was out. And it is a big, tall pot, basically. And it's a steamer. You can steam stuff in it. I can cook pasta. Um, here, let me take off the lid and show you. It comes off. It has a steaming basket in it, and it has a little little legs on the bottom. I don't know if I will use this basket because there's holes in the bottom, and um, the spaghetti will slip through, so I'm just going to put the spaghetti down in there, put some water in there, and the good thing is, is, look at this, look at that. After it's all done, I can strain it right out of this pot. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Look at that. It fits great on top of this little stove top. So I'm just going to get the water boiling and 
and then put the pasta in. The pasta is pretty much done. I'll just let it sit in the water. So first what I'm going to do is there's some ghee down in there and a little bit of olive oil because I'm running out of ghee. So I'm just going to saute this for a little bit until it's kind of released its flavors into the oil and butter. And I'm going to add the dock because the dock is kind of a, a heartier <laughs> wild lettuce or wild green. And I want to cook it for a little bit longer because you're really supposed to with dock. Then I'll add the mushrooms. Yeah, I'll add the mushrooms next. Mmm, it's going to be so good. That's cooked down a little bit, so now I'm going to add the mushrooms. Oh, I cannot wait till this is done. It is really going to have a lot of flavor. And like I said uh, in another video, I already cooked some of it. I just sauteed it in ghee, and that's all I did. And it turned out really delicious. So I'm going to let this cook for a little while. You know what? I'm going to add some more ghee, just a teensy bit, and a little bit more olive oil. And then I'm going to let this brown up. Now that that's going and I got the stuff in it that I want, I'm just going to cover it up and let it cook on a very, very low heat until the, well, till the mushrooms are done. Oh, look at that. I think that that is nicely cooked. I'm going to try one of these thicker ones and see what it's like. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Oh my gosh. That's good. Okay, i got to add the other greens. Here they go. Now, with these, I'm just going to stir them in. And cover the lid. All I need to do is just wilt these just a little bit. I'm going to turn off the heat and let the heat from the cast iron skillet cook them the rest of the way. And then it's dinner time! Here it is, guys. Oh my gosh. Sorry about the light. My battery's low and it won't let me put on the flash. So I'm just going to try a bite of this. Whoops, where'd my, where'd my mushroom go? Looks kind of like lobster. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. So good. Mmm. They say this tastes like chicken. Oh no. It does remind me of chicken. <laughs> it's chicken in the woods. It also reminds me of crab or lobster. Mmm. Look at that, you guys. Oh, this is delicious. This is the tastiest mushroom I have personally ever had. Mmm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to eat this all. I'm, I'm going to eat it all. And there's leftovers. There's more pasta. There's more of this stuff. I'm going to just pig out and eat it all. Mmm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. The greens are delicious. Oh! Man, I am a lucky girl. My eyes were definitely bigger than my stomach. I couldn't eat it all. I couldn't even eat that whole plate. And I still have leftovers, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll stay up late tonight, and maybe I'll get hungry and finish it later. Anyhow, I uh, washed my hair, took a bath, and you know what? I'm thinking of cutting my own hair. Should I do bangs? Look at that massive forehead. It's it's like crying for bangs, right? I don't know. Remember when I did that the last time and how much I regretted it? But I don't know. There's something in me. There's something in me that just wants to cut my bangs. Anyhow, uh, I'll let you know in the next video. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.